This is Bishop George Murray. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning and welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the eighth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant is Monsignor Peter Polando, Rector of St. Columba Cathedral in Youngstown. I'm Barb Zorn from St. Columba Cathedral and also Holy Family in Poland. As we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers Dr. Bing Domingo. Deliver us, O Lord of truth, from speech unbacked by deed, from lives that by the faithlessness deny our spoken creed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Together we pray, I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. do. Through, through my, my fault, through, through my fault, through, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison. Christ eleison. Kyrie eleison. Together we pray, glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace, peace to people of good will. We, we praise, praise you, you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that in the course of our world we may be directed by your peaceful rule and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. When a sieve is shaken, the husks appear. So do one's faults when one speaks. As the test of what the potter molds is in the furnace, so in tribulation is the test of the just. The fruit of a tree shows the care it has had. So too does one's speech disclose the bent of one's mind. Praise no one before he speaks, for it is then that people are tested. The word of the Lord. Thanks, thanks be, be to God. God. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. Lord, Lord it, is it is good, good to, to give, give thanks, thanks to you. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name most high, to proclaim your kindness at dawn and your faithfulness throughout the night. Lord, Lord, it, it is, is good, good to, to give, give thanks, thanks to, to you. you. The just one shall flourish like the palm tree. 
Like a cedar of Lebanon shall he grow. They that are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. They shall bear fruit even in old age. Vigorous and sturdy shall they be, declaring how just is the Lord, my rock, in whom there is no wrong. Lord, Lord it, it is good to give thanks to you. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, when this which is corruptible clothes itself with incorruptibility, and this which is mortal clothes itself with immortality, then the word that is written shall come about. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brothers and sisters, be firm, steadfast, always fully devoted to the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Shine like lights in the world as you hold on to the word of life. Alleluia. With you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? No disciple is superior to the teacher, but when fully trained, every disciple will be like the teacher. Why do you notice the splinter in your neighbor's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own? How can you say to your neighbor, neighbor, let me remove that splinter in your eye, when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your neighbor's eye. A good tree does not bear rotten fruit, nor does a rotten tree bear good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For people do not pick figs from thorn bushes, nor do they gather grapes from brambles. A good person out of the store of goodness in your heart produces good, but an evil person out of a store of evil produces evil. For from the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As I was coming here this morning, I noticed how fast the clouds were moving in the sky because the winds that were present. And then I reflect upon how quickly life proceeds forward in the passing of time and as we age. I guess I reflect on that because I'm getting older. But as I look at our younger people, it's so 
impressive of what we have as they graduate from kindergarten or the eighth grade or the 12th grade. And after the 12th grade, either they proceed on to college or they go into their vocational training or into the workforce and proceed in life in a way that is proper for them, man and woman, to understand who they are, not only in relationship to their own families, but also in relationship with one another in the kingdom. Today, we hear in our sacred text of um, uh, of how we proceed within salvation history, don't we? Uh, and uh, our sacred texts, you know, from the Hebrew scriptures are based on what was given to not only Moses, but the prophets and the historical writers, so that there was a firm basis that there would be this transition of life to the chosen people. And then the fulfillment of that transition of the uh, Hebrew people was given to us as Christians in the reality of Jesus Christ, God's Son. Listen to the teachings today, how they proceeded from one part of life to the next, to the fulfillment of what Jesus is telling us today graduate yourself into who you are because of my preachings and teachings. Don't try to take the splinter out of your neighbor's eye. First, take the plank out of your own eye so that you could graduate a little bit better into understanding of what I'm saying to you of love, not only of God, but also your love for one another. Don't be selfish with your love. Always go forth and proclaim the love that has been bestowed of, uh, upon you because of my word, because of my teaching. Then you have graduated yourself to the fulfillment that has been prepared for you. Not, all, not only said in the scripture today, but led forward in the scripture when Jesus offers his life for us at the Last Supper on Good Friday and gives us the joy of Easter Sunday and the hope of the ascension into heaven. If we live out what God is teaching us, especially through the person and teachings of Jesus Christ, then we're able to gain the ultimate goal for all of us, salvation in the cross of Jesus, sainthood with the communion of saints in heaven and the fullness of eternal life by him who gave his life for us. Together now we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things are made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. 
I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In prayer, supplication, and petition, we turn to our Heavenly Father in these, our particular intentions. For the Church, that we may have the courage and integrity to remove the wooden beams that lead to sin and hypocrisy and impede our ability to teach and preach the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For our government leaders, that they may treat constituents with fairness and justice as they serve them in office. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For people who live in areas of the world threatened by rising ocean levels, especially those without the means to relocate, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For trees, plants, and all living things that grow in the earth, that they may be healthy and bear fruit in due time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have had to endure undue criticisms, insults, or disparagement, that they may be comforted. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, source of holiness, we ask you to hear the prayers that your people bring before your holy altar. Gathered as one, may we come to share in the glory that has been promised us in the cross resurrection of Jesus, who is our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth is given, human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by every mystery we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and dark angels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of To you, therefore,
Therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, that you accept and bless these offerings, these gifts, these offerings, and these holy and unblemished sacrifices which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all those who, holding on to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you alone. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion, in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the most glorious Virgin Mary, mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and holy martyrs, with Peter and Paul, Andrew, Mark, and all the saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray. Graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray to bless, acknowledge, and approve this sacrifice in every respect. Make it holy and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fidei, we proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven, of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants, and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the many gifts that you have given to us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you accepted the gifts of your servant, Abel the Just the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the bread and wine offered by your priest, Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your forgiveness through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, you fill them with life, you bless them, and you bestow them upon us. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, Father, who who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed hallowed be thy thy name. Thy thy kingdom kingdom come, thy thy will be done. done on earth as he is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles' peace, I leave you my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have Have mercy mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. the body of Christ. (laughs) Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me.